first get in the S550 Mustang, you notice a few things. First of all, you have a lot more visibility than most muscle cars. And second, the seating position is actually pretty comfortable and you have access to most of the controls pretty much arm's reach away. You'll notice some similar comforts to the old ones, such as the heavy steering feel, where you can really feel the weight of the car. But immediately, you notice you can actually read the tachometer, unlike the old models, where everything was a little jumbled up and the numbers were pretty close together. This model contains the Recaro cloth sports seats. They obviously feel way better than anything you get in a stock GT. As you can see, this model did not contain the rear spoiler due to the fact that the owner did not like the look of it. Compared to the previous generation, the power output is pretty much exactly the same due to the fact that it has the same Coyote V8. Uh, this car makes 435 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque, but this car weighs a tad more than the old version, and most tests have shown the previous generation is slightly faster. The biggest difference between the suspension of the new Mustang and the older variants is that the new version has a rear locking differential, meaning it will perform much better on a track. And though the older version will beat in a straight line, in a true race, the S550 will win. The exterior of this car is phenomenal. With the new lightning blue paint job that Ford just came out with the new 2017 model, it just looks amazing. One disclaimer, the Vossens do, do not come standard on the new 2017 models. <laughs> Compared to last year's S550, the new S550 has no pretty much no new body changes other than the hood actually being functional. On the last generation, the hood vents were used as turn signals, which is kind of cool, but in this in this um, new model, the hood vents are actually, you know, useful and help the engine breathe. Though in the new model, you will feel the bulkiness of the Mustang, which is kind of what you want to feel. It's the reason you buy this car. Uh, the car definitely feels a lot smoother. The suspension rides nicer, and overall, it's a more pleasant ride, and if you want to, you can unleash the power of the V8 and you could get that mental muscle car performance if you really need it. This Mustang does not have the premium trim, but in that trim, you will get all sorts of driving modes, including normal, sport plus, track, and then snow slash wet. Overall, this Mustang will satisfy old and new Mustang owners.